Good evening, everyone. This is Miss Norma. I hope you had a blessed day. Um, no, it's not a mirage. That's my lovely big sister back there. She's here from the West Coast, and um, she's been here with us for the past week, and she'll be leaving tomorrow. Say hi, Sonny. Okay. Well, let us pray. Our story is entitled, My Hiding Place for May the 19th. And before I go on, I corrected the date on yesterday's story. Okay, let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this day. We thank you for seeing us through, Lord, the sunshine and the rain, Lord. Whether it's physical rain or spiritual rain, physical sunshine or spiritual sunshine, we thank you, Abba Father. Lord, we ask your continued blessing and healing over all the land. Remember to pray for those um, on our prayer list. I have to update. Pray for me um, with my work schedule. Uh, but um, by his grace, all will be well. I thank you, Lord, for my YouTube family, friends, TikTok, um, Twitter, and um of course, YouTube. Blessing and healing once again in all our land. In Jesus' name, amen. Whew, thank you, family. My hiding place. Our scripture lesson is Psalm 27, verse 5. And it reads, For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling place. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Amen. The Merriam-Webster def definitions for hide are to put out of sight, to conceal for shelter or protection, to keep secret. I live out on acreage with my husband. One of the most rewarding aspects of this life is to be in nature. We consider ourselves guests on the property. Daily, we see many bird species, lively squirrels, and gentle deer stop by. An exciting time of the year is the spring when our geese return to the pond. Every year, we make ready an abode for the first returning pair. They arrive, the goose nests, the gander protects her, and not long after, we witness we witness to the gooselings who come into the world. The family unit is complete and they stay close together. Who came, I'm sorry, and they stay close together while Pop hovers and keeps them safe. I love to see mom find room under her wings to keep her young ones warm, dry, safe, and secure. It brings to mind how God hovers over all his children, shielding us and never leaving us. At times, we hide away from the bustle of life when it closes in on us. Amen. We hide from things that overwhelm us or people who seem to be asking too much of us. We hide when we do not feel we can do things well enough. Sometimes, we hide from our emotions. Have mercy. When we are troubled, hurt, confused, or scared, we can find some comfort from those closest to us. But nothing will ever completely ease our strife and give us peace other than the outstretched, the outstretched arms of Jesus. He invites us to rest in him, our true hiding place. We should desire to turn toward him as our giver of peace and protection. Amen. I love these words by William O. Cushing's hymn, Under His Wings. It goes like this. Under his wings, I am safely abiding. Though the night deepens and tempests are wild, still I can trust him. I know he will keep me. He has redeemed me, and I am his child. Friends, may we never forget his great love for us. Amen. 
Our story today was written by Pat Baska and is from the book, He Knows My Name. Amen. Let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you, Lord, for this reading on um, my hiding place. We thank you, Lord, that as the example of the goose, Lord, we can hide under his wings at various times in our lives, Father. Lord, sometimes um, this may sound strange to people who don't know you, but I'm asking t tonight, Lord, in prayer, if you would bless those who are seeking you, Lord, with an extra measure of knowledge of you. Father, as we open our minds and our hearts and we release ourselves to you and all of the things, Lord, that may be resting upon us, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the way you can speak to us when nobody else can, Father. So, Lord, I thank you for the gift of receiving from you, from sharing with you, Lord. And, Lord, most of us, most of all, when we learn to trust you. Thank you, Abba Father, tonight for your love and your mercy and your grace. Thank you for a blessed night's rest. Thank you for the events of this day. And Lord, I'll say, if the events were a day of trials and tribulations for someone, Father, I ask that you would send angels to minister to them and bless them with a good night's rest. You know what their tomorrows holds. You know what all of our tomorrows hold, Lord. So grant us strength, grace, and mercy for each new day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, family. Thank you for being here. By his grace, I will see you all on tomorrow. This is Miss Norma. I'm signing off now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. I love you, and remember that the greatest love of all is the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Good night, family. Say good night, Sonny. Okay.